Sanbonani Matthew Jesu Christo Pamgwelu Upelwa Kwamtembu from St Martin de Porres e Kamalake. Eh ngiphuma ngaphansi kwedioceson team engaphansi nayo kumzi media. Namhlanje sithi sayide ukuthi sizo interviewer u chaplain wethu u Father Denise Ngongo. Um, besakalu kuti naye as introduce. Um, okay, magatungi sisi Jesu Kristo sanbonani um, ikama o tini sangaongo. Okay, o sengo fat of course. <laughs> <laughs> Akaga shoko giga tis. Um, o father tini sangaongo. Um, o sebenza ngapansi kwe mission ya si malenge San Martin de Porres. Oh. Something in, <laughs> yeah, in, Saint Martin there's something in Porres. Uh, Martin de Porres, um, Emma Lenge, uh, Nami Genge in Lange, Yom Zemedia, Jango Bessel Shilo Sesuetu, Ogotina Footing in Go Chaplain, uh, Way Youth, Jango Bayena, Esebenza, with Diocese and Tim, Ye Youth, and a Pans Gomzim Colo Diocese. So that's me. Uh, Abanyege Bangazi, Go Sky Poet. Yes, thank you. I forgot to mention Uguti Uskai Poet. Yes, of course. <laughs> okay, so Namishanje, Sizofuna Ukwazi Kabanzi, Mailana Nebuk, Ezo Londra, Ufather Wetu, Ufather Ngongo. Okay, so now if Ufather Inga Sazi Sanjek Angani, um, nga, nga title of the of his book, Uguti, um, what inspired you to? Um, write this book. Who are the publishers? Um, was it edited before publishing? Okay. Um, uh, the title of the book is uh, The Mental Voyage. The Mental Voyage, mm -hmm. which means the journey of the mind. So when we journey through our minds, so this is the entire, uh, the primary uh, um, um, title of the book. Although it has uh, different poems within itself. Uh, I've got 42 poems in this book uh, of different angles. They touch different domains of life. Um, of course, uh, the I wrote the book. Let mm -hmm. me go back. I wrote the book in 2020 during the COVID time yeah. um, when, when COVID was too much so at school in the seminary we we closed and we had to go home others had to go home from namibia from the country of namibia mm. but we remained in vendok so we couldn't cross oh. the borders go home come back to south africa mm. so while we were in in the in the seminary in the campus excuse me i realized that it's good if i also use this time um to nourish my own talent <laughs> Um, to, to nourish what I, I, I'm passionate of. So I said, okay, even though I do study, I pray, I do this and that, manual work, um, um, sports and so on uh, in the campus, even though we were somehow indoors, but mm. I said, no, let me write the book. Since I used to post poems previously um, on social media, on Facebook, people used to see on WhatsApp statuses, Instagram, um, and posting these poems, I said, no, let me write something and then keep it safe somewhere so that one day I may publish it if God wills. So indeed it happened. So this year I said, okay, since it's it's been long, you know, it's been ages since 2020, the manuscript is with me. And then what can I do? Even before that, um, I had to, you know, in Gesizulu, we say in Lela, Ibuzo, So I had to approach um, Dr. Beris. He's a permanent brother. Uh, he is from the Netherlands. He is 90 something years. Mm. He is Mkulu. So he's also an author. So I said, okay, let me, let me send him via email so that he may check. Indeed, he did check. And then he realized that it's most of poems are beautiful mm. they fit they are appropriate to be published however a few of them of course according to his perspective were not fit for for the publication <laughs> so i had to add now from those he he considered not fit mm. fit enough for publication i had to add them around 10 i think so i added 10 of them so that 
um, um, they are they are the number that I, I I desire to have. So yeah, and then I, this year a few I mean in August this year I approached V Publishers um, um, where there is Aviwe. Uh, Aviwe is the one who played a very um, um, paramount role or necessary role to make this dream come true, uh, walking from dream to reality. So V Publishers. Um, uh, from the Eastern Cape, he's ve she's very good um, at this, so she's the one who really inspired me, encouraged me um, 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 to, 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 to undergo this process. Okay, thank you so much, Father Nongo. Um, another question that we might um, want to ask, what exactly inspired you to write this book? Okay. Um, since I've said, okay, of course I've said that I used to write poems. I love creating creative writing. Mm -hmm. I used to write just small sentences, maybe inspirational quotes uh, on Facebook, mm -hmm. on the statuses. So this is how it began. Uh, in 2016, 2017, I started poems, just to write a poem, just one poem, maybe a, a week. Uh, another poem about love, another poem about prayer, mm. another poem about um, um, life challenges and so on. So I realized that people love my writings. Mm. So the more they comment, their positive feedbacks, their optimistic uh, um, 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 comments were the ones that truly inspired me. I wasn't inspired by any writer. Um, I used not to be, I'm not being negative, but I used not to be um, 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 a lover of reading, especially things mm -hmm. like novel, only at school, things that concern... Where you were forced. Yes, yeah, <laughs> see, see, when someone is behind me, <laughs> this is how maybe I grew up. But I realized that people love my poems and others are touched by what I, I write about, even the topics. So I said, okay, let me, let me write a book. It's possible, <laughs> it even though possible. I'm just from a village of Kwame, Mzimkulu, but I can, I can have a book of mm. myself, even a few copies. So I think that was my inspiration. People became my inspiration. They inspired me, encouraging me, um, 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 telling me to do even more. I remember, I can even recall uh, when, I, when I realized that this, because I gave myself the name Sky Poet, mm. because my poems would reach even the sky <laughs> yeah you see that is how you dream so i i had few t-shirts mm. written sky poet mm. so i remember some asking for the t-shirts because they used to support my poem so they post the t-shirt themselves selfies wearing, wearing the same t-shirt mm. but also the poems so this is how i was inspired i felt uh, like there's this fire within me of mm. course granted, given to me by God and the inspiration, the wisdom from the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, but also the people mm. around me, yes. So can you maybe say that um, social media is some sort of indela that umuntu enga publisha noma enga kulisa ikonu no mi talent like? Yes, nowadays the uh, social media is one of the most um, famous uh, mediums of, of communication. Mm. That, that is why this angle of, of communication is, is very essential, even though some may use it for mm. negative um, um, intentions. But uh, social media, of course, indeed, someone may, may, may really grow uh, his or her talent mm. using these social medias because people comment, people like, react, but also you are not only confined into how they react because it's not all, it may not always be a positive mm. reaction, not always be a positive um, um, feedback, but also you see mm. that I think I'm doing well here. I think I'm not doing well here. I improve here. Mm. You also check other people who, you, you, you even search on Facebook, uh, poetry, uh, uh, authors, poets, poetess, okay. who check, Ogotoba na bapala, yozobabona bando bapala, istayela sabon, which no. Mm. Let me grow. So you see how social media may be um, inf influential in mm. a positive sense, where you see young people writing and posting, you copy their style, the way they, they articulate even when they speak, 
what they write, then you say, no, let me, let me go for it. Mm. So social media, all in all, can be, and it is indeed a positive inspiration. Okay, so can you talk about a few themes of your poems? Okay, um, <laughs> 42 poems. <laughs> let me, let me, let me uh, summarize them into three. Okay. Okay, as I said, in these poems, I speak about many different things of life. Mm. I touch many domains of life. It's not only people who are thinking that since I'm a priest, I'm a young priest, so I speak about prayer, prayer, prayer throughout All the, the time. Book. No. Some poems indeed speaks about speak about God. Mm. Some poems speak about um, 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 love mm. because we don't love one and the same thing, all of us. Some may love romantic writings, mm. you see, because I'm not writing for myself. I write for the for reader. The, yes. So a reader may be a person who loves what is, uh, is, is love, mm. what is, speaks about love, peace. Africa, the continent, the beauty of Africa. I also write about God. I, I've got a poem um, um, uh, titled um, uh, Rain of Mercy. Mm -hmm. There I speak about mercy coming like rain to us as young people, as people in the world, as f coming down to the nature, mm -hmm. everything around us. So this mercy, in my imagination, comes like rain. But some people may run away from rain. They hide. So it means there are people who don't understand the beauty of mercy of God. So they run away. Sometimes we, we are not aware that we are running away from rain, mm. but we are running away from this mercy. Another poem, um, I speak about abortion as well, um, because it's what is common, these societal issues and mm. challenges um, um, that seek to, to deter our journey to collapse our, our positive um, 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 walk and talk. So it means the, the, the abortion, I try to, to show um, how beautiful and how, how beautiful is, is the grace of God mm -hmm. that comes as the results of a baby. Every baby is a gift from God. Yes, every every human person is a gift from God, despite, uh, irrespective of the fact that some people maybe were born in an unfortunate condition, mm. an unfortunate um, 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 environment, but the, 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 the fruits from, from that is, is the grace of God. So there I'm trying to show the beauty of, of life, uh, the beauty of also safeguarding and protecting life. The last one, and uh, maybe I mentioned, um, is about um, God's divine vaccine since okay. it was COVID. <laughs> so there is this vaccine from God. And this vaccine from God is the most beautiful healing. The touch of God heals. The touch of God creates. The touch of God reveals and gives a person what is called divine illumination, divine light. So it means we need this divine vaccine mm -hmm. for our depression, oppression, mm -hmm abuse, anxiety. poverty, anxiety, um, 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 unemployment. We need this divine vaccine. Mm -hmm. It touches and it heals us within and without, inside and outside. Okay, thank you so much, Father. Um, is your book available at any bookshops? How can one mm -hmm. get a copy? Okay, um, so far, the book is not available in any bookshop. Mm -hmm. However, we are trying by all means to make sure that the book is available. People have access to the book, whoever wants to get a copy. Mm -hmm. um, this time, uh, what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to distribute the books within the diocese, okay. uh, a few parishes. I've spoken to Reverend Father Kumalo from Christ the King, okay. Paul Shepstein at least to have a few copies mm -hmm. uh, in Margate as well. Um, Our Lady Queen of Peace under Father Andrew. I also spoke to him. And also, I, of course, I will speak to the bishop uh, to have in the bishop's house because in the bishop's house, we've got other spiritual books, yes. uh, other vestments, equipments, uh, religious articles that are sold. So it's good to have my book. And also in the parish where I'm working, St. Martin de Porres, in Malenge, I will have copies. 
However, if somebody wants a copy, wants to buy the book and so on, um, we will, of course, leave the details, my phone number, um, um, other people's cell numbers that I will, I, will, I, will, I will inform people in terms of how to get the book. But it will be a physical copy. We'll see how to distribute them here. Yeah. Okay. Now, they, there's this question that everyone is, is maybe asking themselves, how do you exactly manage to multitask mm -hmm. between um, creating writings and um, being a priest? Mm. Yeah, of course, it's an interesting one because <laughs> um, fundisi, um, bali. how do you balance the two? How do you multitask? Even? It means you neglect Amakola when you are leaving the parish and you are busy writing. We want to see you as Sontoeni. We are busy writing. See, I keep on doing it when it's a bang in my poem. Yeah. No. Uh, since I've said that, um, it was in 2020 when I wrote all these poems, compiled them, and finished. Mm. In 2021, um, uh, Brother Beres from the Netherlands, um, Amsterdam, is the one who who edited. Uh, of course, he said there's not much to edit, so he just checked a few, and then he said, "No, they're fine." So I finished mm -hmm. completely in 2021. So it means right now I'm not writing poems. Anything. I'm focusing <laughs> in the parish. However, I still go and check the, 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 my book and yeah, believing that it's not really distracting um, the ministry. So it's not distracting. You may multitask. You, yes. you also can multitask, but you know the priorities, not what comes first. Of course, the ministry, the church, yes. God, the people, the communities. People need us. Myself as a priest, there are so many people in Malenge, so many mm -hmm. people every day, from morning to evening, people come and go. So when I get time to rest, it's where I take the, the manuscript and read my poems mm -hmm. and correct the mistakes and so on. Even before publishing, I was just checking the little mistakes, just minor errors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, be, I mean, before printing, before submitting. So it means it doesn't distract uh, the ministry at all. Okay. <laughs> we are very glad to hear that. Yeah, yeah wrong. <laughs> Okay, so now what is your message to young people uh, who are uh, mostly interested in creative mm. writing? What can you say? Um, what I can say is that as Solomon asked for wisdom, mm. we always do. The Holy Spirit reminds us what we have forgotten and teaches us what is new. Speak to the Spirit. Talk to the Holy Spirit. He's there for us. As you have inspired me through, I mean, with so much talent, so many young people are talented out there. Yes. I've seen little ones. Onganu Jesu, Ama Social Christo, Maria, Ikwezi, Iyot, People are very gifted out mm. there, but they, they are hesitant. Abanye baya saba, abanye babonu nguta ziku inge lazo kwenza. Abanye baya stout. Yeah, you, con you also consider your background and say, ah, because I'm from Guamei, my little family, mm. you see, I'm not so in the, in the my life is not on par. Mm. So it's not about comparison. It's about you speaking to the spirit yes. to inspire you to do even better. Young people are gifted. Come out of the box. Leave your room. Go out to the field. Try this and that. There are so many opportunities. Speak to the right people. Um, I also spoke to right people. Speak to the right people. Hear them. They advise us. Of course, um, it's unfortunate that you get negative feedback. Sometimes, I mean, discouragements. People try to deter you and distract your journey, your way, your dreams. But in the posit most positive sense, pray mm. as a young person, as whoever who is feels that they have this talent because you can feel when you are talented in something you know when you not know how to cook you know man you exactly you can taste and say yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you feel even if you even though you can't tell people but i'm talented in this one no yes. because humility of course mm. you empty yourself like jesus who humbled himself but as young people let's let's speak let's voice out how we feel mm. about how what we know mm. we are able we are capable it's a matter of standing and then you speak to the right people there are so many people in our parishes so many people in our communities 
ama kansela or mayor even about tisha is calling mm. speak to teachers it doesn't mean i have to speak to um, superior uh, superior people no mm. just speak to ordinary people around aibo yaze anti ngibona ngithanda ukubhala then they will make you aware that this is possible because mm. it is indeed possible okokugcina kulo ndawo mhlambe ngingashi ukuthi nokuthi masibasha sebasha must not focus when do I order because that the thing is in those try me na nge umuntu ngiyalithandishashala ngiyabona ngilila abantu abathanda ne attention yena yabo in a positive sense yes. of course eh so ngiyakwazi ukuyi try into ngibona ukuthi okay singing yeah i'm trying it's not bad but dancing eh <laughs> kunzima but it doesn't mean i stop i try yeah. because i want to fit also to the community that tries to the community that tries to climb you see higher and higher so in order to succeed as young people especially as young people we need to awake from sleep speak to god speak to the holy spirit speak to people around you talk to people um priste wakho esontweni umzali wakho antu wakho malumu wakho tisha school and especially because we live with these people every day as young people and also as i mean when, during our spare time must we group sizihlalele nje sibuke ibhola sithini siqoqa sihleli Let's talk about these things aibo mngani uyazingizizwa ngegodi angathi ngegodi la ebaleni yazi yafisa yabo what do you think abangana bangakulahlekisa they will help you to grow mm. and you nourish and grow the talent and one day you'll see that i have molded i have shaped this talent into something but prayer is key because i prayed and prayed and prayed and mm. it was not easy but passion and zeal for what you love don't just say i love singing and you remain in your room. Do not do don't be passive anything. be active show even as onto any sing yazi khona ugogo noma uma lume nomubhuti oza realize ukuthi yangana vicula wozala ukhona studio somzimidi harding why can't you speak to father ngongo or the team of the dows or even umbishopi even it ya umzimidi team ukuthi u release ingoma yabona because you are not hiding. you are not hiding yourself mm. you are outside there yeah Yeah thank you so much father we've seen you um achieving in the entertainment um industry achieving um writing songs poetry and being featured in some national tv now what is next after this the <laughs> pressure <laughs> man um first and foremost of course i said priorities spoke mm-hmm. about priorities my priority is the church the church comes first um i do th- i mean i'm in the ministry so many things yes. i've got i'm given the parish to take care mm-hmm. i'm given my people the diocese is there the whole church the south africa and so on and also e youth i'm the chaplain of the youth in the diocese so many things ulalo mm-hmm. khatele this and that but i will not stop here um i will try to pray again to the holy spirit to to give this divine illumination the light to see what is next mm-hmm. but i believe that there is still a lot of things that i supposed to achieve not only for myself but for mm. the people i'm working with young people now i want to do more i, I want to inspire more motivate more i motivate i'm motivated to motivate mm. so i motivate more young people many young people need to really stand up all of us in fact so what is next now is to inspire the young of yes. course they will come to me how did you write this mm. book how come this I will always speak about it to people that listen it's your time now so that will be my achievement mm. so my next step from now is to inspire you and the rest so that they also become writers singers authors and so on yeah yes. so that is what is next yeah we've seen that uh, it is possible judging from your um experience okay before we um end our interview we would like to know when is um the launch of this uh book um the mental voyage is going to be launched in harding um kwazulu natal of course in harding uh, at st andrews parish hall there's a hall under the catholic church at st andrews uh, in harding um on the 12th of november 2023 which means next sunday uh, will be the launch uh, at 12 o'clock uh, uh, midday so this will be the launch uh, in harding so please if you would like to be part and parcel of this 
journey of this launch of this event please feel free to do so but um, i've got the posters um, going around so that people may see what to do and also to call us you let us know if in case you would like to be part of us so that you know we know how many people to expect okay. uh, as we begin to prepare for 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 the launch itself so we've got a beautiful lineup also on the poster you can see um some individuals will be there mm. um, um um the guest speakers um even there is a performance i will not tell you what who's <laughs> going to perform <laughs> no it's not of course it's there on the poster but yeah it's going to be a beautiful i believe in god it's going to be a beautiful uh, uh, day uh, so i also thank the people who've been calling me telling me that they're coming and a number mm. of people really would like to come uh, to harding on such a day next week on sunday on the 12th of november 2023 we are in harding okay thank you so much father nongo for your precious time we'd also like to thank our um, bishop um bishop stanley um mm. we'd also like to thank the diocesan team for entrusting me Uh, to do this uh, job, we'd also like the Umzib Media of for course. the equipment and everything. We would see when they interview Ibe Yimpumelelo. Says Sobonana on the 12th of November, 2023. Impilu nzema, lempilu nzema. Funa bomelele impil, ifuna bomelele impil. Funa bomelele impil Funa bomelele impil o Umkhule go 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 Umthanda zo Abafundile bathi life is not easy Ipatu ikanda buka manje I'm so dizzy But mind your business we so busy Busy they so busy Abefundise bathi qina emthandazo Ukuqukuqukuqinena mato Ufuna 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 uzovuma Ukuqukuqukuthu zosobulo ngolongo Uzwa makholwa ethu ukholwa ukuthemba ukuthanda Umuqine mkhule kweni konke kyanje bona Kholwa themba Tan Amen